by Kiri, and we are here with a new series, The Walking Dead. I am glad uh, to be doing this. I am a huge fan of The Walking Dead series, and I wish I could do this at night. But well, I reckon you didn't do it then. With uh, everything. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Be advised, uh, medical personnel is the heart of the old period 10 to 20 coming in. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. Oh. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. Oh. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. <laughs> Tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he zap stops, him. and having exhausted him. all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Damn. Man? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> they caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Oh my God. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Ah, fuck, my leg. 
It looks like a bad cut, man. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Oh, right here. Come on, keep kicking. There we go. I need to drag myself out that window. I'm scared. There could be zombies out there. I mean, walkers. Good. Ah! That sounded like his leg. That didn't sound too good. carry with these cuffs off. Uh. Oh, there we go. Uh. Here we go. There we uh. go. Give me that. Uh. Oh. Oh. oh, my leg. Can I go back and put the shotgun shell in it? That way I can have it in there. Uh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Looks empty. Put the shotgun shell in it. Oh. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. All right, I guess I gotta go over to the officer. All right. God damn! I don't want to get too close. I'm scared. I don't like this. Why does it have to be near his mouth? <laughs> oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> can we just get these keys off now? Okay, thank you. There we go. There we go. Get the other one off. Get the other one off. There we go. Officer. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, okay, 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 okay. What in the hell? Uh, uh. Get away from me! Where are you? Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away! Don't make me do this!
Shooting noises drawing them off. Okay. Hello? Anybody? Help. Okay. I wonder if anybody's home. Let's see. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? An intruder or one of them. Oh man, look at this place. These people might need more help than I do. Itchy lick, itchy lick, itchy lick. Okay, so there's a, there's a kid in here. All right. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <coughs> of course, I will. Okay, can't, can't, okay. Alright. Hmm, Marsh House. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. Alright, let's see what's in here. Hey, what's the talkie? That'll come in handy. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Come on, be something. <sighs> okay. Uh... Oh, up in the cabinets. Uh, what about this one? This one? This one? What's that beeping? I'll check out the beeping in a second. Sounds like an answering machine, but I'd prefer to have like a weapon. Please don't fall in the blood again. Okay. Oh. There are three, three new, new messages. messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. And they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 9 one, one We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? 
Hello? You need to be quiet. Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. Okay. So, it's, it's the little girl. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. Yeah. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Mm, poor little girl. We need I to help her. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened. But I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Safety yeah, of the daylight it's not is safe at chose. night. Okay, it's not safe at night, so we need to... Let's go. Stay close to me. Okay, so we are helping this little girl out. And so far, so good. And so far, I'm still very creeped out. right now. Alright, I guess we're gonna go look at the gate. Sorry, I don't move as quickly as you do. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close. Okay. That's a good idea. Alright. Let's see if these people will help us. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. 
Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Hey, Sean Green. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. But I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long I, is a mistake. If I say some guy, they're gonna think I'm a pedo. What do you wanna do? I got it. I got it. I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Alright, alright, alright. What are those guys? Neighbors too? We're out of here! And we are out of here! It was safer to go, uh... It was safer to go in the day. I'm sure there would have been a lot more walkers than we originally planned. It was there in the daylight. So, it was safer to go at this time. Alright. <laughs> hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Okay, so. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Uh-oh. Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. <laughs> what did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. It's Herschel. Ah. I like Herschel. How'd this well, happen? Yeah. I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. Hmm. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow... We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. 
I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> serious. There's a kid behind me. Shit. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be Not possible. funny! There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. All right, so we're going to be heading to the barn, and we're sleeping here. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. At least it's safe. I love you, baby. <laughs> And this is where we're going to end off the episode. So remember, guys, be good, stay safe, hey, but always up. have fun. And I'll see you guys next time. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? <laughs>